Bridget Mackay and I'm an attorney and I work in or practice in the area of wills and trusts and estate planning. And this is another series in my New Year's New Beginnings blog for all of those of you out there who have New Year's resolutions to get your affairs in order. I'm sort of describing all the different documents that will help you do that. And today I want to talk a little bit about health care directives. I'm sure you hear a lot about it. In the 90s there was the Terry Schiavo case in Florida um, where a woman was in a coma and her family was, her parents were fighting against her husband whether to pull the plug on her or not. Um, and these documents kind of get rid of that turmoil and you won't spend 10 years in a coma. So what is a healthcare directive? Well, it is a document that you can create with an attorney or otherwise, and it will name an agent for you. So someone who will make decisions, health decisions on your behalf when you're unable to. It usually also contains some provisions about um, what your wishes are in your, if you were found to be in a coma or if you're found to have an Alzheimer's disease or um, you know, you, have some philosophies about whether to take treatment or not take treatment. So a lot, it contains all of those things and you can put them in there. Who needs one? Everyone. Everyone needs a health care directive. If you're 18 and over, you need a health care directive because your parents aren't making those decisions for you anymore. So, and everyone can possibly experience a health crisis. It's just part of life. So how do you find them and where do you get them? You can obviously come to an attorney and draft one that can draft a tailored one to you. You can find them a lot of places. They're all over the internet. But I suggest if you're going to get a healthcare directive to fill out on your own, to go to the California Medical Association. They sell instructional book booklets, and at the end of the day, you can fill it out by hand, and you'll have your healthcare directive. And I think they sell them for like five bucks. So it is an essential part of every estate plan that we do. Everybody has one, and I've often, someone has come in to get a trust for me, but they leave with a healthcare directive because I feel so strongly about people having them. So um, you can have it as your only estate planning document, and it would be a good starter to getting your affairs in order if that's all that you do. And um, so, Bottom line, get a healthcare directive. If you learn anything from this video blog, it's really important to have. If you need help with it or you have future questions about it, give our office a call. <laughs>